Guessing that's the right order. I'm just looking down the notches along the sides to make sure that they logically line up. I'm guessing there's going to be a piece that goes in there that I need to either bend or get into place. So I'm just confirming that this is the right position of all of the, the hull, these hull bracers or whatever these are called. kind of cool I like that so this gives me an estimation of the overall size of the hull as far as like a scale to D&D &D boat it's still actually within the, the scale in the campaign that I'm currently making the uh, the attackers will have a boat similar to this so it doesn't even matter that I can't put little minis on it this would be a great boat as like an adversary because it's going to look so good. It'll almost, it'll be like intimidating to see something like this coming at you. Gluing the frames, make sure fitted by abutting its course by slots. Important that the frames are completely perpendicular. Okay.
I'm not particularly worried about like over gluing these sections because all of this is going to be underneath or inside the boat. So you're really not going to see any of this stuff. And I kind of want this to be over glued anyways, because I want it to be solid. I don't want any of this to come apart. It gives me permission to be sloppy. Not really, but I don't have to be a perfectionist about gluing this stuff is all I'm getting at. Finally, these little guys. Well, if I had to guess, this is all about holding masts in place. This is part of that structure. So I'm gonna make sure those are got extra glue on them, They're nice and strong. Check, make sure everything is lined up. There we go. We have a skeleton of a hull. It's looking pretty good. Again, I am totally fine with the fact that I was sloppy with the glue on this because it all gets, it doesn't get seen. It's also important that this is the strongest part that this you know is going to hold everything else and it's got to be pretty firm so i don't want to skimp on the glue i want it to be very strong that was part one that took me the better part of an hour just the instructions what we did completed one step well join me in the steps to come where we assemble more of the hull looks like we're going to do some planking and make some strips to cover over the uh, plank. Is that right? Yeah. Looks like that's what we're going to do. Should be fun. See you soon. Bye.